All right, uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you Akim out there that's pushing this truth and truth sincerity. This is a video from uh, Army of Israel on, um, you know, baptism. All right. And this lesson is about the spiritual <clears throat> baptism. And, you know, once again, Israel showing how folly some they can be. You know, why would you put this on um, YouTube, man, for, for Jake to see? <clears throat> this just looks like vainglory. You, you got you got you up here baptizing the nigger woman. All right, what, what is she going to be baptized to go do? All right, just, just madness and folly. But yet you still got guys out here that got dreadlocks. You know, what are you, what are you baptized for, man? All right, so I'm just going to get into a quick lesson on baptism, man. All right, and you know, for any of you brothers that's been in Christianity, man, if you've been baptized in the name of sweet white Jesus, you've got more demons added on to you, man. I remember personally, um, when I when I was in Christianity, man, as soon as I got baptized at the age of uh, 19, I started being a nigga. I started smoking weed. I started hanging out late. You know, my dad had left the house by then. So I started just wilding out, man. All right, but that's the demons that was on you back in the day. All right, and these guys got demons on them right now. All, all you Hebrew Israelites were saying, you you Israel, if you don't come back to how about Shemuel Shai and the true doctrine, the true baptism, man. All right, you got, you got demons on you, man. Look at these guys, man. Look at this for a sec. He come out the water screaming and yelling like he about to go do something. Like he finna go to the highways and byways and proclaim this word. This is just ridiculous, man. Israel is just getting waxing worse and worse, man. But, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and go with the lesson, man. If you want to watch this, it's on, uh, man, never mind. <laughs> All right. Start out with a basic scripture, man, on these guys, man. Philippians 2 and 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. All right, that word, that word vainglory is uh, kinodoxia in the Greek, which means empty pride, man. All right, why would you, like I said, why would you put this on YouTube for all Israel to see? Why don't you preach <clears throat> the real uh, baptism through the Spirit? All right, let nothing be done through vain, through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Let not every man on his own look, not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach Yahushai. Verse 6, who being in the form of the Most High, thought it not robbery to be equal with the Most High, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. All right, so Yahushai, yes, he was baptized. Okay by John the Baptist, okay? He didn't make a big deal out of it, all right? He was, you know, it was, oh man, y'all man, y'all gotta come to my baptism, nigga. Yeah, he was, no, nah, man. And that's what you see with these guys right here. It's probably got 3,207 views, man. All right, but not preaching about any prophecy Okay, not not edifying the flock, not even telling the men of your congregation who follows you to go out into the highways and byways. All right, these guys are never out. So what, what's the point of baptism, man? All right, so I'm gonna get into uh, clip scriptures. Um, this is uh, you know what? I'm gonna go to the Great Commission scripture first, Matthew uh. I believe it was 28, 19. <clears throat> Matthew 28, 18. And Yahweh Shah came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and, and teach all nations, that's Israelites, okay? Because we were spread out according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. All right, and salvation is for Israel. Read uh, Acts, the fifth chapter, all right? The man who you eagerly called Jesus Christ, real name Yahweh Shah, died for Israel, the elect, the election of Israel, namely. Go you therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
all right teaching them to observe all things whatsoever i have commanded you and lo i am with you always even until the end of the word are mine so these guys up here dunking each other into a, a dirty piss-filled water piss-filled river in st louis man you guys aren't doing the work man all right you can go to the, you can go to this page right here and the last time that they went out was like a month and a month and a half ago with some some bull crap unity uh camp all right and that was it you're not out there week in week out man you're in the comfort of your home so what's the purpose of being baptized if you're not going out to teach um all the israelite foreigners and all the israelites out there there's no point man so what's the point of you dunking your head in some damn dirty filled water in st louis man it's just vain glory it is look at me look at me nigga i'm a hebrew israelite you ain't you ain't on my level man that's all these guys want to do all right this thing is not about vain glory and i can do this and i can do that there's nothing new under the sun so you're not doing nothing new anyway all right all right i just wanted to bring that point out all right because these guys did not go out man all right they did not go out week in week out edifying the flock and it's a, that's what it's about edifying not being seen of men all right and then you know like on this video if it pulls up you know they reading some scriptures but they calling them they calling the most high elohim you guys are just black jewish israelites man all right I just did a lesson on that about uh less than a week ago about elohim the real hebrew name is elohim man study to show yourselves approved man you, you, first of all you're not going out there and then you're misleading the flock calling the most high elohim that's what your oppressor Esau, Edom, namely starting with Amalek, has told you. That Yiddish bull crap, man. All right? You guys need to seriously go back and learn, man. All right? Baptizing these uh, jakes, man. They don't know what the... He, this guy in the uh, yellow, he don't know what the hell going on, man. He just he just, he just, just found out he's an Israelite, and all of a sudden he want to get baptized by some guy that thinks he knows what he's talking about. All right? Namely, this guy right here with the headband on and the guy with, with the uh, dreadlocks with, with the uh, friend is on a t-shirt that says Judah on the back, all right? Look at this, man. And if y'all was any type of level, you would tell them guys to cut them dreadlocks off your head, man. All right, enough of that folly, man. All right, um, <clears throat> it's Ephesians chapter, um, I believe it's five and 26 that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word all right that's the true baptism the washing the washing of water by the word all right you know we get into this word you know, all right cleansing the the holy spirit uh get get in the spirit of yahweh bashim al shaba reading these scriptures you know the comforter you know changing you uh from being that cigarette smoking negro to just putting it down man all right that's that's baptism for you man all right cleansing yourself with this word all right let's go to uh let's lock you all right psalms uh 119 I think it's verse 9 in verse 9 it says Beth wherefore shall a young man cleanse his way by taking he thereto according to thy word all right how are you gonna cleanse your ways it's not just dumping yourself in a, bo a pool or a river or a lake man you're gonna cleanse yourself through this word all right like I said if you had a cigarette demon back in the world you had a Newport uh, uh, 100 demon on you. You had a you had a demon of eating pork, shrimp, crab, or lobster. All right, you had dreadlocks. Okay, you cut that off, man, because you know that was unclean. You, you got into these scriptures. You read, I believe it was 1 Corinthians 11 and 14, and talking about uh, it, it's a shame for a man to have long hair. And that cleansed you. It was like, oh, shoot, I shouldn't be having dreadlocks, man. That's unclean, first of all. And we, we shouldn't be having long hair. That, that's that's the glory of a woman. All right. All right. Oh, man. I'm commanded to go out into the highways and the hedges when I get this sound doctrine and I'll come up, come up under men. That, that's baptism for you. 
all right that's the true baptism that's true cleansing yourself with the word man all right anybody can go out to a, a body of water and baptize themselves in the name of Yahweh Shai. but it's not going to do anything for you if you don't have the spirit on you all right if you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shai, it's going to be null and void man like these guys out here like i said don't take my word for it man all right look on these guys pages man all right they're not out there they're not out there week in week out telling people that um martial law is coming they're not out there telling people that uh, jacob's trouble is soon coming that famine is soon coming world war three is coming they're out there trying to do stuff for vainglory man they're all all in the in the um <clears throat> attempts of getting a woman man and, and you got a couple women here man just being simple man just just making a big scene out of you getting baptized man and it's gonna come in the null and void. You're gonna come out that water with more demons on you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this guy's page in the next couple of days and see what more demons is put on this guy, man, since he got baptized, so to speak. You know, <clears throat> the laying on the hands of this guy is not gonna do nothing, man. All right? Anyways, man. So, the last scripture I'm gonna read is, uh, let me see, John 6. In uh, 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profit of, profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah, these words. All right. If you're living a lifestyle in the world and the Lord chose you to do this work. All right. Because you have to be chosen to do this, man. All right. And somebody that's chosen to do this won't be doing all this folly out here, getting baptized in some water for all of YouTube, the, the whole YouTube world to see it, man. So it's the spirit that's going to quicken you, man. All right. Let's look at that word quick enough if I can pull it out. All right. So, so put PAO. It says, uh, to cause to live, to make alive, to give life, by spiritual power to arouse and, and invigorate, to restore to life. Because when we're out there in the world, we were spiritually dead, man. Not through the spiritual baptism of the word, we are revigorated through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. All right? So I'm just going to end it on that, man. Uh, with that, I want to say Shalom.